Hi, welcome to Nocti by Kylie JNS. And I just want to do a quick video on these disturbing incidents involving rappers uh, being shot at and even murdered. So we all heard about um, Benita Butcher and I think uh, Little Boosie got shot in the leg in Texas over the weekend. And then we heard about Mo 3, I believe. Then Von King and now we had a situation with the rapping dentist, Dr. Rose. So, you know, they say in Dallas that there was 21 killings over the weekend, I think just on Sunday alone, with only, I want to say, um, seven arrests or seven dead. It was one of those uh, stats. I can't remember them quite off, off um, the top of my head right now. Um, but this is really disturbing, uh, you know, to uh, feel the energy behind this. I personally think there's some type of psyop going on with this rapper energy and the the shooting of each other. I think there's a lot. Um, I think there's a lot of deeper stuff going on on the spiritual level. But um, the most disturbing incident uh, was with Dr. Rose. Now, Dr. Rose was this rapper who um, decided to go to school, get an education. And become a doctor, open up his own profession, and really help the community uh, fix uh, their issues with teeth. In particular, he specializes uh, in the veneers and uh, helping people who have uh, gold teeth that gets rotted out. He replaces that and he uh, gives people a beautiful smile. So, obviously, if you don't know, um, Dr. Dennis can make a lot of money. A lot of people don't know that. I, there's, I know of a dentist who bought a $2 million home with his own profession. Um, you know, so this guy obviously chose a great profession and, uh, according to like what I researched, his background is, you know, kind of hood, you know, he grew up, um, uh, not so well off and not even from a privileged background. And a lot of his family members were into, you know, a lot of the, um, underground activity, the underground economy, selling drugs or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But he himself didn't want to get caught up in that riffraff, so he decided to go to school. Not only that, this guy um, is an entertainer. He has 100,000 uh, followers on Instagram, and he does a lot of the rapping. He's known in in Texas. You know, he's known in Texas for uh, doing amazing dentistry as well as the rapping. So obviously, this brings in uh, a great deal of. Uh, money for him to live off of that he works hard for so he gets shot uh, so people found out where his dentists were some black men and um, they go show up to his uh, place of work and they're attempted to rob him but I guess they say Dr. Rose tried to run and they shot at him several times and Dr. Rose ended up surviving uh, thank God because when I first heard this story I was like oh my gosh did they kill that man over freaking jewelry after he was a dentist like I couldn't just rob him I'm like oh my gosh so uh, luckily this man survives you know and, and he's recovering quite well but um that story is really disturbing this all of these stories are disturbing you know the situation where uh, one of the rappers were killed in Dallas and then one of the girls went to go try to you know get the follow the car the, the, the rapper's daughter tried to go follow the car of the murderers and they ended up killing her so all of this is extremely low vibrational all of this is obviously um just energy that we don't even really want to talk about or engage in but like every time i'm i'm on you know my youtube or i'm just researching i'm just doing you know uh, after I, I do a lot of research throughout my day but when i am um relaxing or when I'm winding down I just look to see what's going on in the entertainment world you know what's what's popping like and just I keep seeing these stories you know because I follow a lot of commentator YouTube commentators who don't specialize in the same um thing that I do like I do more like spirituality and African history and more serious topics but I like to look at very non-serious shit when I'm not being so serious so um I keep seeing them do stories on these killings like of black men shooting each other up uh, you know usually over some attempted robberies and, and trying to steal their their loot and trying to steal their coins and juries you know so what's going on uh with that picture and with that energy 
obviously, you know, people are struggling out here, and the, they did the, the EIDL and the PPP, and people were uh, scamming that, and they were doing the unemployment, and now a lot of this stuff is drying up. And, you know, these people and uh, government have not been able to solidify the next package or next relief bill. So people are getting desperate. So that is always one element of it. But that's just not it either because it's like, I mean, and, and I don't know the stats. Maybe crime has went up everywhere. But to me, it doesn't seem that way. It just seems like in particular, there are rappers being targeted and black people who have tried to um, work hard for themselves and those type of people are being targeted black people who started businesses uh, there was just a real estate uh, uh, real estate and I got this from one of the ladies that I follow off of YouTube she reported this on her channel but she said that there was a real estate agent who was a woman who you know, was making a lot of money um, and she had a boyfriend and I guess uh, what it, black people act like they was gonna so uh, you know wanted her to, sh to show them a house and when she went to go show up to show them the house they ended up kidnapping her and uh robbing her taking her taking going to her house and trying to rob her, whatever they could find and then killing her shooting her you know so y'all got a problem and okay i'm not gonna say y'all let me just let me just slow my roll because the stories is as i'm telling these stories they pissing me off and it's just like what the fuck is wrong with y'all um but obviously there were that but that was a black man that uh did that to that lady and it's a lot of these black men that's going around here uh doing this to each other let's just be real clear and i want to know what's in that energy that that got y'all thinking uh it, that got y'all in that vibration where and it, it obviously is not all of us not even a majority but it's like why are there multiple stories coming out daily of black men killing each other you know and I've, i want to know why y'all not sticking together and why y'all not supporting each other during this time and looking out for one another and why y'all not uh propagating the most uh affluent i want it not not in the sense of just having money but in their mental capacity like why are we not promoting the the, the dr rose the dentist rapper this guy who is a rapper and also a dentist and owns his own practice like why is your first thought to try to rob him is still his jewels that he worked so hard for that's the, it's hard work doing this type of stuff being an entrepreneur and and starting up your business in a legit manner and going to school and finishing doing all those years for dentist school why is it in your mind to take from a nigga like that when he's when he did the right thing and i just find that so disturbing that there's an element within our culture there's an element within our community that thinks like that and i know it's more is not just an isolated incident because just this week alone i've heard of 21 cases of you black men going around killing each other for jewels and or, or not even because they have jewels because they got they got clout and they had they worked hard like all this envy and jealousy from you guys like black men y'all got that really really bad i have witnessed it firsthand y y the, the level of jealousy and envy out of all groups of people that I have seen it from, y'all would be in the top three, hands down. And the most disturbing thing is y'all not even jealous of people that y'all like, like people who really got the loot, who got the bag off of your backs. Y'all jealous literally of another black person who is trying their best to survive and stay on top, and 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 they're doing the thing the right way. And even if they're not a dentist like Dr. Rose, but you know they they rapping and they got popular you know and they and, and people are messing with their music people fucking with them and here y'all come wanting to take them out you know and and you're doing the robbing thing but it's like it's something deeper because if you're gonna rob then rob you know but what's the point in killing them so that means it's like y'all want to snuff out each other's light like y'all don't want no one to shine in this community and that's why a lot of black people they don't flex uh 
smart black people that, that, that got things to lose. You won't see them posting on social media. They, they, a lot of black people, they won't have no social media because they know how other niggas think. And they know, play down, don't celebrate your blessings too much to people, to family, friends. Those type of things in our community. When, you know, it, it's disturbing. It, it, the the, the self-deprecation that we are expected to um, have because we don't want, you know, the evil eye in our community. We don't want an onslaught of jealous energy coming towards us. And then you got some that are just really stupid. I won't say they're stupid, but really naive and gullible. And they go on social media and they do all this flexing. They show everything they got. Every little penny that they own. They, they throw in the money over the banister. They throw in the money all in the air and putting it in the dryer. And they flex and they got the, the big old monies up to their ear. And putting that on social media like look at me now and then other people are getting jealous and looking at this stuff and then and, and start plotting on you and thinking like how can we find him where he's at where you know and my thing is black men y'all gotta understand this your inherent value and your soul value is not contingent upon anything external within this world so what does that mean why do y'all let material items determine y'all self-value or or think it, it attributes to your self-worth? You guys, you guys, I seen the way you guys stand in that line over them Jordans and how to, over that Versace and that Gucci and all that stuff. How you, how you really, and it's, it's, it's black people, period. But I'm really going to talk to you black men because for one, the universe is on y'all head, y'all energy is powerful right now and y'all squandering it away. That's why I think there's psyops being done on you to get you to look real stupid and to get you to do stupid stuff you're doing stupid stuff on your own don't get me wrong but i think that there's something going on that there's rituals being done on y'all i really do um to really get y'all to not ascend and to not tap into the energy that is available to you right now and that's very sad that you guys are falling into the trap and uh you the self-sabotage is there the self-hatred and and all of those things exist within you that you must take accountability for. You know, it's not, I'm not saying that the psyops is being run so that y'all don't, y'all, y- y- y'all not at fault for this shit, you know. But there is some spiritual things going on right now with y'all. And instead of tuning into that 2020 energy that can be a benefit for y'all. You're going into 1960s energy, rapper energy, hip hop energy, negative hip hop energy, not even like Jay Dilla type energy, you know, not even like the good hip hop. You know, you guys are going into just a wretched state of consciousness at this time um, because you know that you're at a crossroads. And a lot of the times when you feel that spiritual crossroad there, what y'all can feel the, the, the act of self-sabotage come out. Or when you see other black men who are able to uh, reach that mantle and, and want to take that crossroad and, and want to be able to just get past it and know where they're at and, and what it means for 2020 energy as far as the, the, the energy that's out there, the energy of entrepreneurship, the energy of abundance. Yes, it's the energy of the matrix falling, but there's a whole bunch of other shit going on too. Yes, there's the energy of, of plague, of course, you know, but uh, everything has its duality, you know, so... If you got just the, the energy of the plague, you got just the, as well as the opposite. You got the energy of, of pure delight, you know? So a lot of the black men that are tapping into these, the, 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 the more auspicious aspect of those energies, the delight, the abundance, the entrepreneurship, the, 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 the self-rehabilitation, the enlightenment, whatever these guys are doing, rapping, uh, becoming more popular, becoming more, you know? Here come the rest of y'all wanting to take them down because you don't feel like you are worthy or or they are worthy of what they got because you don't feel that you are worthy. So you're doing all this projection of self-hatred onto uh, other black men and and even black women. So y'all have to answer for uh, a lot of this, this jealousy because the thing is, even if it's not you that participates in this, this craziness that we see going on. They're talking about it so much. Now it's not just Chicago anymore. Now it's Louisiana. Now it's Dallas. You know, you know they would say the crime in Chicago, the crime in Chicago. Now it's all on the news about Dallas. 
oh they go they they shooting each other up and down they trying to make it a crime city like chicago oh no they ain't having that we'll send them boys out we'll send the national guard out so y'all gotta start thinking on on multi levels of, of you know what can this mean when it get when the energy is so big that everybody is talking about it that's not even in dallas that's not even in uh louisiana and florida on these other states or people who like me who don't even necessarily even pay attention to any of uh of no hood shit necessarily but i do get a chance to know what the hell's going on because again i follow uh youtubers that uh do a lot of more of the culture commentary hip-hop commentary so i like to know what is going on in our community when i'm not being a neurotic nut studying and researching all this stuff and writing books and stuff so um it's very disappointing to see that y'all regressing what i see is a regression into infantilism and and to be honest black men because i can see into the subconscious minds of of the collective subconscious minds of people groups and things and on a spiritual level what i see is y'all regressing out of fear i sense a, 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 a cloth of fear over the collective of black men particularly in america i cannot speak for all of the men in africa but black american men i sense that y'all know that time is up for everybody's fuckery on planet earth and it's actually time for you to be doing the position the things that you should have been doing this entire time uh for the last 1500 years you guys know that there's a, a judgment for everybody not just black men but just everybody and there's a, there's this um also this energy of you guys know that you haven't been on your square as keepers of the planet earth as men so i what i sense and y'all never have to y'all don't have to you know admit to me but i, I but you know the, even like the energy of like remember when uh lebron james is going on there saying i'm scared to be a black man and all these i remember all these black men just kept coming out of nowhere saying it's scary to be a black man in 2020 it's scary i'm scared that kind of energy now that of course was more doctored up that was more to me i feel like they were told to say that uh but it does it, what i sense from y'all is like a I won't say a panic, but like a, a energy of uncertainty, which breed, which is an element of fear. There's this inner energy of the unknown, the uncertainty for your state of being on this planet. As far as what you subconsciously know is coming your way. You subconsciously know that there is agendas and uh, psyops and rituals and uh, they, there's so much things that they have planned for us, our people. And now you're like, what are we gonna do as as men? Like, what are what are we going to do? Now, are you consciously saying this? Are you consciously thinking of these things? No, I don't think that. I think that many of you are just living your life and doing you. But I'm just saying, like, when I see that kind of regression like that, because I remember when this happened around um, when when Trump first got in office. Do I remember when all of the hotep? I don't even call them hotep because I, 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 I that's not the correct word i think that's a disgrace to our ancestors to 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 use that word and as an insult but um do y'all remember when all of the conscious community niggas started like coming at each other hard and even if they weren't conscious community but you remember everybody that was that was in the like the black uh power i won't even say is that black power but like basically anybody who was speaking out against like black uh plight remember when all the men they just started going at each other remember like i don't want i don't like to name names i don't want people thinking i'm calling anybody out but we we all know they all i can name at least 10 like of them they were just going at each other's throat some that i'm cool with some that i'm familiar with some that i have always followed some that i follow both of them and they all got into it and then you know you're like oh yeah i know who i'm talking about people who was trying to start up the schools people who was rocking with the house of consciousness people who was not working with the house of conscious people y'all without saying names y'all pretty much know when that that whole situation was going down y'all know what i'm talking about remember when people who was talking about evolution who was against uh this and all this stuff and proving whether or not egypt some a certain egyptian text was legit remember all that stuff they got into just all these arguments 
and it was just bad and these you could go and see these videos still on youtube of them screaming at each other calling each other mama's a b one of them even pulled out a gun on youtube like it, it got crazy that energy when trump was getting in office it was in 2016 energy and y'all had lost your mind and it had panicked they and like i remember like because because uh I remember even some of the YouTube videos, even if y'all weren't beefing, I remember black men going on there freaking out about like the feds watching them and all. It was some, it was some crazy energy right, right uh, at that time. They weren't killing each other, but the y'all were arguing with each other, just going, trying to rip each other a new one. And this energy now, uh, that's going on in 2020, is it, once again every time a president get in office, I notice y'all kind of go buck wild as men, uh, mentally. What I think. And you know, I'm just I'm I'm speaking from the point of view of someone on the outside looking in that has a different insight, that has a different perspective, and can see the bigger picture. I like to look at the microcosm of uh, elements and of uh, of all societal levels. I can see it from like just imagine a, a bird just watching over a whole city and they seeing shit. That's how my mind works. I I don't see things. I'm not per per. Uh, purporting to know what you guys are thinking and doing as men i'm just see, telling you that that energy of that fear and y'all wanting to take each other out it is here again you, you know something coming and y'all y'all don't want to admit that so again like the most intelligent black men who have uh, emotional intelligence and self-awareness they know something coming but you don't they ain't freaking out you don't see them trying to take each other out or or, or self-sabotaging but them niggas that's low life and them niggas that 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 are hood and you're not low life just because you hood we talking about the hood mentality not because you live in the hood but a hood mentality not even wretched mentality ghetto mentality destructive mentality and again not because you stay in the hood you it's a difference i lived in the hood so i'm not coming at hood people um but what i'm saying is that that mentality of of not necessarily being raised with that emotional intelligence and, and, and self awareness does not know how to cope with the feeling of something is coming something spiritual like you know that that freak out that that the that entities that are within them start to jump out so when they see other men flexing. And they see and, and they know it's the last hurrah and they already in a demonic state of mind they're taking out anybody they can and they going for blood they going after whoever so uh, those are the people that we gotta watch out as black people regardless of your socioeconomic status education status whatever there is an element among us that is completely wretched that is completely self-destructive and that will take you out no matter what and we need to really get away from them they should not be promoted we got to stop promoting the most wretched among us we do and we always say well we can't leave them behind yes you can and you should you absolutely should you have to stop uh there's good it's good to have compassion but this element that we have in our community where anybody who um gets educated or just does for themselves we like to look down we try to act like they did something wrong or they left us behind or they're sellouts or they i have been called a sellout by my own people plenty of times um and literally with zero rationale no logic it's just it's just the the energy of that that envy that you guys feel when someone is trying to take themselves out of out of a certain situation and it's it's really disturbing but all of us with a certain vibration and a certain resonance it is time for us as a people to completely completely get uh disown get rid of ignore uh step away move away from these people who literally just want to destroy our community they want to keep the crime going they want to keep killing each other they want to keep beating on each other stealing from each other taking from each other they don't want to support no black businesses. They don't want to support anything good that's going on in the community. Why are we acting like that doesn't exist? 
and now we keep seeing all these crimes in our community and all these black men getting shot by other black men and now we want to act turn you know we can't turn a blind eye to it they need to be shamed like y'all got mad at ti for for talking about don't don't he said something about don't bring that you know be about something about atlanta's black excellence don't bring that uh killing spirit over in our town or something I, I, I'm, I'm really jacking the quote up but he said something like don't bring that that nonsense over here kill y'all want to start killing each other o- over here take lead at wherever y'all at and y'all wanted to come in how dare you speak on the hood like that how dare you how dare you come at them like that he wasn't even talking about king vong as he stated you know he wasn't talking about that man he was talking about don't try it and y'all came at him y'all came at his neck just like how y'all try to came at they said they said and i i don't know the backdrop but i heard not this if y'all know better uh please elucidate on the situation but i heard something that y'all that black men were coming at meek mills because he said he wanted to stop the crime in philly and they they started dragging him like how dare you want to stop the crime and you know, you know, it's what about the street cold and the street cred and you know the niggas. Yeah, that's what we love to do. Y'all demonic ass motherfuckers gotta go. It's as simple as that. Like killing each other, robbing each other, all this crazy ass shit. And y'all can say, oh, that y'all trying, you trying to blame us for our position because that's a white supremacy was the one that caused this. Wait, so we no, y'all not hell no. We not about to use that as no excuse. For this fuckery you're gonna be gonna place the blame where it needs to be and the reasons for that behavior which is self-hatred self so envy and jealousy and self-destructive nonsense con- slave mentality slave consciousness low vibrations put it where it gotta be because nobody is telling y'all to do this stuff to each other dr rose did not deserve that that rapper dennis did not deserve that and he needs to know and if anybody's watching this and y'all know dr rose send him this shit you need to get out of i don't i, I don't know where you at you i'm pretty sure you don't stay in the hood anymore i don't know where your uh, office is located at you need top notch security you gotta go you're gonna have to hire security stop buying all that fucking balenciaga and all this other stuff and get you some security have them pat get pat have them niggas get pat down before they come in your shit metal detectors Pat them on a butt and pat them all with the metal detectors. Stop playing around. Stop it, Dr. Rose. You gotta beef up security. Cameras everywhere. You gotta. I'm, I, yeah, it's like, are oh, you gonna treat your own people like that? Or they just shot your ass the fuck up and and, with, and left you for dead. You understand me? So, Dr. Rose, if you gonna stay and you luck, they lucky it wasn't me because I wouldn't even be in around no hood nowhere. My office would be. <laughs> and y'all could say whatever the hell y'all want. I know how y'all think. So, Dr. Rose, either you're going to relocate to and get you some different type of clientele. Better get some kids. You know, the kids and, and, get, and, and start taking, uh, they got uh, insurance and start doing the little teeps for the kids. You know, and get out of that gold plated veneer rapper shit, hip hop shit. You know, take the. Keep your clientele, but they they gotta be guard. Yo, they cannot be allowed to just walk up in your shit anymore. Gotta have top notch security, and I know you're intelligent, so I know you know what I'm talking about. You gotta it it, it just no more, no more access to your spot and to you. You know, um, even if that means that you gotta switch up a couple things as far as location and, and where you're at, and um. It's just, it's just sad that we even have to think like that. But you could have lost your life. Like you literally was left for dead. These niggas shot you multiple times with the, with the hope of killing you. And what happened if they would have succeeded? Like, like this story is just so insane. It's as simple as that. And we could say, well, we can't leave them behind. Please, please, give me a break. Give me a break because any of, any of us. They would, they wouldn't, they wouldn't fuck with us. We would be out, of course, if it was up to them. Any, any of us who are intellects, any of us who are entrepreneurs, any of us who try to do anything. So, it is what it is. And I have compassion for my people, and I know that we've had a rough, uh, we had a rough time, you know. But there's no excuse to be killing each other like that.
it's just zero excuse to want to take someone's life especially over this gang stuff that y'all pull in over the, any of these things it's just completely unnecessary it is so wretched as a people and i do hope that y'all realize that there's bigger fish to fry and that y'all stop wanting to harm each other wanting to snuff the light out of each other wanting to snuff the you know the, the gifts and, and 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 keep them down with you is if you lift if we lift each other up and look out for each other just know that if you show love to a person with gifts and skills and talent they they most likely will be gracious to you if you're gracious to them they'll be gracious they'll show you graciousness back you know and that's why if you notice all the black people that do get a little something they don't come back to the hood they don't show no love they they, they actually despise you because y'all don't y'all not great y'all don't show them no graciousness y'all don't lift them up and they have resentment towards you because in this community you can't show you can't do too much you can't show too much you can't be too intellectual you can't be too this and you can you can you know i'm i'm, I'm just saying the culture the cultural values are not one that that i like to like to value uh the dentistries it, it should be you know a bunch of rappers that's dentists why not like dr rose why not that's surgeons that's brain surgeons wouldn't that be cool you're doing your rapping and you're doing your brain surgery on the side what's 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 the problem you love music i love rapping so continue to rap there's nothing wrong with doing your rapping but you know uh having uh, pursuing your life passion is also pretty you know a, a commendable thing just like what dr rose did he liked to do teeth and he liked to rap so he did both so y'all could do both too you know and again that energy that y'all see coming towards y'all that y'all feel that unknown that that, that y'all know something coming on a subconscious level don't be fearful of that energy it, it is a balancing energy it is a karmic energy um it is coming to literally take a lot of us out as a as, as a human race by the way not just black people as a human race so that energy that you feel is is real you know it, it that that darkness that we feel among us but also there is light there is still that beauty in life you know that is still among us as well so tap into that and don't feel so depressed don't feel so desperate uh understand that nature prevails and that if if all else falls you know uh, start using this time to be able to live off of nature um say say if you're people that's in down south you know and you're in texas and you're in georgia and you believe it or not um there they, there's a lot of, there's a thing called foraging and there are, are plenty of edibles that is all around us in these woods and stuff there's plenty of edibles there's all types of things start to learn a lot about this foraging stuff uh there's going to be a lot of of people that have some messed up finances and have uh, have have issues obtain getting food you know so under learn uh don't just take your life into your own hands at this time don't wait for the government to do nothing for you don't don't wait for no stimulus check and all this stuff start taking your life in your own hands learn this foraging learn how to the transpirate a transpiration method of, of collecting water in case your water gets shut off like start thinking outside the box as a people even if you are low income and if you are in a project you are in the hood you are wherever you at don't fear that energy don't fear nothing just know that don't don't want to uh, what I will say is that energy that you feel don't let that manifest in wanting to take yourself out and take each other out and go on a self-destructive self-sabotaging path that's not what that energy is for so feel that energy that you that you that that is there but understand that it's your time to take your life into your own hands in terms of learning uh, uh, new skills and saving your money and save and do what we can while we have this time left because there is something coming there is so black men you could feel that something coming uh, and again I was talking mainly to like more of like uh, all of us but at the same time uh, a certain type of black man that gets really envious and jealous of his other brothers who have who do something for themselves who got a little bit more than him that you're t i'm talking to you to y'all and no it's not all of y'all but that jealousy and envy in black people period it gotta go and y'all gonna see y'all y'all will see 
because we could talk about the jealousy and envy of black women with each other as well and that shit is a beast but we are not the ones we're, you don't see a bunch of stories about us on the news right now killing each other and all that stuff so that's why the focus is on the black man because y'all making international news y'all making national news local news every day about knocking each other off and it's the rappers it's this hip-hop shit it's the hood shit coming all the way out to international news and you know there's these the stereotypes you know you're living up basically to the stereotypes that they used to put about us on the media and stuff um so that's a problem so it's worth speaking out on and it's worth acknowledging because it's like y'all not about to hold us back with this shit y'all gotta get it together um and, and understand it's not cool it's just it's it's whack to to want to take each other's lives at this time it really is it's disgraceful and i know you guys think it's cute and oh it's this revenge and it's the gang stuff it's the cold it's the street and this this you square you don't understand da, 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 da. okay i mean you you have to answer for that i mean again i know a lot of this subconscious behavior that this is rooted in is rooted in fear and that you know something is coming and and you a lot of y'all are going to get taken out by this energy so all that we can do is uh, uh, go for high vibrations and high inner, high, high knowledge, high, high science, high magic. You know, this is this is the time for that as well. It really is. So I hope that you guys can uh, uh, raise in consciousness and rise in consciousness and rise in love and peace with yourself and be at peace with yourself, forgiving yourself and loving yourself and loving one another, loving what you look like in the mirror, uh, valuing your body and your essence and soul whether it's without the materialist stuff stop thinking that these material items make you they do not make you they do not break you uh they have no uh true value uh, beside of what uh humans give them it, when you think about it what is the, you know you're killing someone over these uh, valenciagas and this gucci and stuff who says this stuff is of value you, the, the what black people no like what are you guys doing what are you guys doing killing each other over this stuff and 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 uh being envy envious over these labels and stuff it's it's ridiculous i really do hope that you guys get into the spirit i keep telling y'all niggas better get some spirit this shit is not cute it's very disturbing and all i can say is uh that's please please try to uh, raise your consciousness during the uh, while we're going into 2021 it is of uh, uh, most importance so that's what i have to say uh to you guys uh do not fear this energy that's coming know that many of it is a uh, karmic retribution and uh stop letting labels and uh materialism determine your self-worth as black people that is very disgraceful that you guys do that uh there is no nothing on planet earth that can add value to who you already are you are fine the way you are you don't have to have a materialism things and and gadgets and expensive things to add to your self-worth and you sure don't have to kill over it. you sure don't have to rob over it you are fine as you are so take that lesson as is stop getting jealous of each other there's no reason to be jealous of one another praise be to our most talented our most gifted our most intellect our most uh People who 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 aren't they living the righteous way? I'm not talking about unrighteous, but righteously worked hard, righteously saved, righteously built up their empires and and and, and the righteous business. May they continue to be blessed. Say that, like, may they continue to be blessed. You can never win when you play dirty. You can never win when you wretched and jealous. Um, so take that uh, information. I know I ranted. I know I bantered the jaw to death. So. You know, it is what it is. But I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.